That's why competitiveness become a problem. Microsoft has unveiled its global digital skills program in Kenya. Dennis Ocheno has the details of this and other stories in our business news roundup. The tech firm has introduced the Skills for Jobs Learning Pathways program locally as a build-up to the success of its Global Skills Initiative launched in June 2020. The program will provide learners with access to 350 new courses and easy-to-follow learning paths. In Kenya, the Global Skills program has impacted an estimated 189,000 people. Elsewhere, Old Mutual Kenya has awarded Anthony Karume as the overall and best intermediary of the year. This is the first time that an agent has won the award since 2019 after meeting all the required parameters. The award is part of an incentive program by the firm that awards intermediaries on a monthly, quarterly and annual basis across general insurance and medical business. It's a win-win. Uh, the intermediary is able to unlock uh, this, the, the program, uh, the benefits of the program, and as a business, we also uh, have business growth. So it's doable. Uh, this business, I think it's, it's, not, it's about what one wants to achieve. Nigerian tech startup Simless HR has launched operations in the Kenyan market. The firm unveiled its offices, choosing Nairobi as its hub in the East African region. The move comes after the firm raised 10 million US dollars in Series A funding for its next phase of growth and regional expansion. Finally, mattress manufacturer Superform has launched its first ever mattress showroom after 39 years of operation. The Ruiru-based firm is seeking to cement its grip in the market since its acquisition by private equity firm Catalyst Principal Partners in 2018. Denis Otieno, Citizen TV.